Hey guys, Adrian here from DigitalDojos.com, and today I have a Time Machine guide, or I should say a Mac OS X guide for you guys on Time Machine. Now, I'm going to be doing this for both Windows and Mac and exploring some features and some things for either new users or just users who are wondering about certain features of the operating system. Today, we're talking about Time Machine for Mac OS X. So, first and foremost, let's go ahead and answer the question of what is Time Machine. Time Machine is an automated, automatic backup process that's built in. It's a built-in feature within Mac OS X, I think even like two iterations ago since Lion. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to back up your data automatically so you can have multiple copies if you ever need access to specific, whether it's a document uh, or a work document or some personal photos, or family, whatever it may be in this case. Now, that being said, why you would want to back up in the first place? Well, there's a philosophy in technology that if it doesn't exist twice, then it doesn't exist at all. So if you ever have data that really is valuable, you're going to want to have two copies, whether that is off-site, which is in the cloud or something externally, because if your main drive ever crashes or, you know, uh, forbid there's ever like a physical damage to your uh, computer, then your drive is messed up and you lose all that data. Now that's where Time Machine can come in to help. Now you can see here you can access it and set this up by going to your system preferences and then going right here to Time Machine. And from there you're going to want to go ahead and select a backup disk and you're, I'm going to walk you through how you would go about setting this up in an example here. Now to set up a Time Machine drive you need an external drive. Now that can be any sorts of external drives but you're going to want to know that this is going to be dedicated to specifically Time Machine. So uh, it's going to be dedicated to automatic backup. So you're going to want to get a separate, I, I would recommend getting just a specific uh, separate drive just for this. Now, there's going to be a couple things you're going to need to format it for Mac OS X in general. You can do that manually or you can just let the software run it and do it for you. When you want to hit, what you want to do is hit switch to on here. It's going to tell you to select a drive. So in this case, it's detecting one of my pen drives. If you have a time capsule or one of those network devices, you can easily just set it up right here. So it can also back up to those automatically over the network. And what's cool here is if you select a drive here, you can even choose to encrypt your backup. So that's really, really important if it really is uh, sensitive data that you don't want other people accessing, then you can encrypt the backups and make sure they're secure and safe. So you would tell it to use the disk here. And once you would do that, you would simply just hit use disk in this case. And then from there, it's gonna go ahead and uh, talk about encrypting or making up a backup password. You wanna go ahead and verify that, do all of that, and then it'll and go ahead and encrypt the disk. So in this case, I'm just gonna say choose a different disk. Now, once that's done here, and let's say you selected your disk, you also have options here that you can click and then look at here. You can see you can exclude items from uh, these items from backups, for example. So you can add things in here and you can see the estimated full size of the backup, how much it will cost here. Uh, in terms of disk space and you want to also be notified after old backups are deleted because what Time Machine does, the way it works is it keeps on backing up and what makes it separate from any other backup uh, software out there is it gets backups from every day. So it will allow you to see backups from specific days. So let's say you edited a document yesterday, or let's say today is Thursday. So you edited a document on Tuesday and then you went in Wednesday and dropped in pictures. So you did something different each day. It knows what you did on specific days. So if you wanna go back to a specific point in that document to when you added the pictures and you can jump back to Wednesday if you want to go back so when you created the document you can jump back to Tuesday and that's the way it works it keeps every day's version of the document that way you can access it at any point in time uh, if you need anything so it does daily backups it does you can also do hourly backups from the past 24 hours and weekly backups for all of the previous months and what happens when the disk becomes full is it deletes the you can see here the oldest backups are deleted when your disk becomes full because it looks at that as the obviously the oldest ones would be irrelevant at that point as your disk becomes full so it, it has its own little process it has its own little system that works out and what's so great about it, it does it all automatically so you don't have to worry so much about your disk being full because as it does that it'll notify you of the older backups being deleted and it goes about doing that so you can set all that you can determine all that now you can also choose to show time machine in your menu bar that way it'll show up here in your menu bar and you have little uh, icons and logos and basically it shows you when it's idle it shows you when it's backing up or backups in progress or if it can't back up you can also choose to skip specific backups at certain time uh, time or points when it's backing up so it's really easy it's really great and what's so great about this is it's simple as turning it on setting it up and just sitting back and relaxing forgetting about it because it handles it all for you and then in that moment where you accidentally deleted a document or you actually needed something that you had in a prior version of the document days ago 
that's where it comes in handy. That's when you you have to you can go into Time Machine and, and pull that specific version or document, whatever it may be, out from your backup drive. So again, this is a real great way to keep your data backed up on a local version on an external hard drive. Do keep in mind when it comes to backup though, you also want a cloud solution, something that's stored on the internet. That way, if there's ever a fire or anything of that matter, uh, all your physical drives in that case are pretty much you know, at risk. So this is just one solution. It's a great solution for Mac OS X users, definitely worth checking out. Again, this is Time Machine built into Mac OS X. For more tutorials and guides, we're going to be uploading those to digitaldojos.com. So check out the link down below. Thanks for watching.